Hey Westside, Joe here. I wanted to do that follow-up video from this Sunday's sermon on uh, May 7th on Luke chapter 2, where we had talked about at the beginning some dating issues that come up in the book, book of Luke. And for those of you who are interested, here's the explanation. So I'll start in Luke chapter 2, verse 1. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. We talked about how that wasn't just one single decree, but rolling decrees, a rolling policy within Caesar Augustus' time. Here's where it gets squirrely. Verse 2. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor in Syria. Now, the reason that this becomes squirrely is because we know when Quirinius became governor in Syria. He became governor in Syria in the year 6 AD, which is many years after Jesus' birth. And there's a second problem, but back in chapter 1, uh, Luke already told us that Herod the Great was king in this time in Israel. And so I'll just kind of remind you of that. Luke chapter 1, verse 5. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife, Elizabeth, was also a descendant of Aaron. So I'm going to say that one more time. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah. Well, Luke has already shown us that um, the birth of Zechariah and the birth of Jesus are a mere six months apart, right? We have those specific dates as he goes through the story. But he says that Herod was king, and, and then in chapter 2, he says this is the first uh, census that took place while Quirinius was governor in Syria. And the problem with those two dates is those are 10 years apart. King Herod uh, stopped being king in the year 4 BC and his sons um, took over their different parts of his empire. Some of those sons did a terrible job. Rome actually got rid of some of those kings and installed governors. And one of those later governors was Quirinius, the governor of Syria. So if we're understanding, the problem is that we have kind of conflicting sets of dates. Jesus and John, merely six months apart. Herod and Quirinius, 10 years apart. So what do we do with this? Well, there's uh, a couple things to be said about that. The first goes back to chapter 2. It says, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor. Well, the word first in the Greek, here is the word proto, proto. Now, normally the word proto could be translated as first. Sometimes it can be translated as before. So another way to say that would be, this was before the census that took place while Quirinius was governor in Syria. In which case we would know that this wasn't the 6 AD census under Quirinius. This was a previous census under Herod. Now that would make a lot of sense, but it's not the normal way of translating the word proto. So there's another possibility. Uh, Quirinius, we know, was in, uh, in the Syria-Israel area during the time of Herod the Great. Herod the Great died uh, either in 4 BC or 1 BC, most likely 1 BC, um, even though he gave up the throne in 4 BC. So he's, he's still in Israel for those final three years of his life. But in that period of time, it's very likely, or not very likely, we know that Quirinius was in Israel at the time. So it's possible that when the census was going on in the nation of Israel at this time, that Caesar Augustus had sent Quirinius to oversee the census process while Herod the Great was king. That's very, very possible. And so then the word governor, this took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, is a little bit different use of the word governor. Governor isn't always a particular position. Sometimes it's just kind of a general title of authority. In this case, what it would mean is that Herod the Great was king, just as we know in uh, 4 BC, that Quirinius was sent to oversee a census in Israel, the very one that brought Mary and Joseph down to Bethlehem. And um, that when Luke writes his gospel and he says, this is the first census that took place when Quirinius was governor, what, what Luke might be appealing to is what everybody would have known, that Quirinius had actually been part of two censuses, one in 6 AD when he was governor and another in 4 BC when um, Herod the Great was king of Israel. And in that sense, 
this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, is a reference to that census under Herod the Great. So why am I bringing all this up? Because if you don't know those things, and if you're not aware of those possibilities, that the word before uh, could be used for the word proto, or um, that Quirinius was absolutely in the area on assignment from the Caesar at the time of Herod the Great, then you could walk away thinking that Luke has made a big error, that he thought that these two guys were you know, in charge at the same time. And if that were the case, you know, then we'd have this big error in scripture and people might say, well now, hey, how can we trust that scripture really is God's word? And I just wanna point out that often when we see these kind of apparent problems, if we'll do a little bit further inspection, a little bit further work, often we'll see that uh, there's no issue here at all. And that seems to be the case with Herod and Quirinius. So hopefully that helps you just to remember two possible explanations here. One, proto means before. So this took place before the census of Quirinius or number two, Quirinius was actually part of two censuses, one under Herod the Great, one in his own rule. And this is just the first one that took place with Herod the Great. So there you go, guys. God bless.